This week we feature a community rooftop solar project that's near and dear to my heart. It's down the street from my home on the roof of my community league where kids play soccer, people get married, and where I've spent many hours volunteering. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. You know, after you do stories about people installing solar and being involved with the solar industry for the last three years in our Green Energy Futures series, we got the idea of why don't we try it and just see how easy or how hard it is to go solar. So I'm here at my own community league in my city of Edmonton, Alberta. This is Evansdale Community League. I volunteer here and we decided that we are going to install solar to save money and electricity and as a community investment. So today Today, we're going to talk to Gordon Howell, solar engineer, and we're going to talk to Ben Henderson, a city councillor here in Edmonton, Alberta, about going solar. This is a grid-connected solar electric system. It consists of 52 solar photovoltaic modules. Uh, that's 13 and a half kilowatts, and it feeds two six kilowatt inverters that feeds the building first, and then any excess electricity, such as on any beautiful bright sunny day, goes into the grid. We expect it to generate about half of the electrical energy that the building uses over the year. Obviously not at night, more in the summer, less in the winter. The solar project costs $43,500, and it was folded into a much larger community infrastructure project. Our community league laid new ash for ball hockey, basketball and tennis, built a new hockey rink and a new winter sports facility and we installed energy efficient LED lights for the rink and the parking lot. But it's solar and the LED lights that are the smartest part of this investment. Over the longer term it's a phenomenal investment because there's typically somewhere around an 18 to 20 year payback on these systems at this time. Uh, but then after it's paid off, then you get free electricity for who knows, 40, 50 years. And uh, then all the money that you save in the meantime, you can put towards the community uh, sports programs, etc. While normal infrastructure projects only depreciate in value, the Evansdale Solar System is an investment in community. It pays a dividend every month for 25 to 30 years. And because the community group use grant money and only some of their own money, the effective payback period is quick, even in Alberta, where there's no support for solar. Yes, their payback would be in, be in the order of four to five years, for example. And then after that, then all the money that they save can go to the programs. You get a lot of bragging rights and a lot of notoriety, a lot of interest from other community leagues and people. It reduces the emissions that you generate by otherwise using electricity. Um, you help actually support the voltage on the grid, which is a bit of a technical thing, but that's one of the characteristics too. The Community League only needed to supply about 20% of the project's cost, thanks to funding from both the City of Edmonton and the Province of Alberta. Ben Henderson is an Edmonton City Councillor, and he sees this type of community-led small-scale project as playing an important role. It may feel small in its application. I mean, each of these individual pieces feels like it's a small piece of the puzzle, but collectively when you add them up, it's the only way you actually really get any real change. Projects like this tie back to the City of Edmonton's energy transition strategy wherein the city proposes to generate 10% of its own electricity within the city limits. And our energy transition strategy is about both of those things. It's about how we can up our game and show leadership in terms of our own practice, but it's also finding the ways that we can create uh, incentives uh, that we can make it easier for businesses, for leagues, for all sorts of nonprofit groups, for individuals on their own houses to be able to step up as well and, and take away some of the barriers, either real or imagined barriers, that are stopping people from making those choices. And, I, and the strategy is about all of those things. Our community project is our way of contributing to energy transition and demonstrating leadership. We've even done presentations on solar to 70 of the other community leagues in Edmonton. Our installed cost was very good at $3.20 a watt. Raising the money was fairly easy and we learned that it's pretty easy to go solar. This project really helped me appreciate the green energy leaders that we cover on Green Energy Futures even more. 
Want more on this story? Check out our blog, photo gallery, and podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. What do you do with old, contaminated mine land? One small mountain town in BC is turning to solar power. Click on the video and learn all about the Sun Mine in Kimberley, British Columbia.